By day three of the HBOT vlogmas, we had hit the weekend, so be prepared for this vlog to have a different change of pace. I got out of bed a little later than I should have, realised I was quite hungry, so went downstairs and made my usual smoothie. I said hello to Harvey and then took my smoothie back upstairs because I needed to get dressed ASAP since sleeping in. But getting dressed couldn't have been easier. It happened just like that. After that it was time to make a list of things to get at the market. And yes, there were more things on the list than just spinach. Then I gave dog biscuits to Harvey and hopped in the car, waited for mum before we scooted off to our local farmer's market. This is our local farmer's market and it couldn't have been a better day to go get some fresh organic produce at a ridiculously good price. Went back to the car, put the shopping in the boot, hopped in the driver's seat and then drove home. I took all the bags inside and then decided that the kitchen would be with the makeover. So I took off my sunnies and bam, it was clean. Then I did some work that needed to be done and decided to make rice paper off for lunch. Cut up veggies, tomatoes, capsicum, carrot, avocado, lettuce, and these are brown rice paper sheets if you're wondering. Took the sheet and rolled them up. I poured some sweet chili on the side and then after that had some dark chocolate and chai tea. While doing editing in the afternoon, I took Harvey for a walk, which he absolutely appreciated. When we finally left, of course. Dinner was ratatouille, and even though it's composed of all my least favourite vegetables, when they're slow cooked and become extremely tender, eggplant's just amazing. I cleared the table and then set it with blades and placemats. We had it with rice and basil leaves. After dinner was more editing, but I also squeezed in yes, some Graham Norton. Quite a lot. <laughs> Two videos were up, and during the whole time, Harvey was by my side, and I quietly sneaked out of the study so not to wake him. Then I went back up the stairs and said goodnight. <laughs>